Good morning, friends. It's Marvelous Monday. And you know how I always like to start the day on a positive note, stating our self-affirming pledge. Are you ready to stay with me? Let's do it. Today, we start the day knowing that we are all unique, special, talented, super smart, ready and able to learn anything and everything we tackle in our classroom. Have a beautiful, sparkly, simply the best day. That was amazing. A great way to start the day and certainly a great way to start the week. So friends, the last two weeks, I have been talking to you about the super cool literary tool of alliteration and rhyme in honor of National Poetry Month. This week, I wanted to share another cool tool, another way of writing poems. It's called acrostic poems. So an acrostic poem is when you choose a person, place, or thing, a topic, right? And you write that thing vertically. Let me show you. So my topic is Luna, my beautiful puppy. My husband and I rescued her from Puerto Rico and she is the sweetest, most loving puppy. So I decided to write my acrostic poem about Luna. As you can see, here's Luna's name, L-U-N-A. And I wrote it vertically from top to bottom. And across you'll see that I chose words that started with her name, the letters of her name, to describe her. So let me share my poem with you. Are you ready? L is for loving. U is for unforgettable. N is for nimble. And A is for adorable. Here's my acrostic poem all about Luna. Friends, I hope that throughout the week, you'll choose a topic, a person, place, or thing, something that you love to continue to build your vocabulary, use your million dollar words, and write a sweet, fun acrostic poem. Friends, remember that this coming Friday, we're going to have our multicultural poetry night during our social hour together. I hope to hear and see some acrostic poems at our time together. So friends, make the most of today, have a little creative fun, and try to write a fun acrostic poem. I'll see you again tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Sparkle on.